Hey everyone, Tamafi here from Tamashi Nations, and I'm here with the product planner for the Meisho Manga Realization line. Hi everyone, I'm Julian Oreska, uh, the product planner for the Meisho line here at Tamashi Nations. Thanks for coming in today, and uh, let's jump straight into it. Today we're looking at Muho Mono Wolverine, which is the newest item in Tamashi Nations manga realization line. First of all, here's the packaging, and you can see the uh, brush strokes as well as the newly designed uh, Wolverine. Uh, and so let's go ahead and open it up and have a look at it. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the box and we can have a look at Muho Mono Wolverine. Okay, so if you have a look at it here, there's actually a wide selection of different parts in here. Could you explain those to us? Yes, yeah, so as many of you will know, the whole Meisho manga realization and also the Meisho movie realization series are planned by Takeyuki Takeya, who is a famous Japanese sculptor. So all of the figures uh, take a lot of design cues from Japanese art and uh, traditional samurai armor. And you can see that he has a number of different uh, blade parts. So these blades, for example, are designed to resemble sort of a katana, and they come in a set of three that can be plugged into his arm as well as uh, these blades, which are a little bit less like in the traditional comics, but kind of a sawtooth blade. Uh, so you can choose whichever blades you want and you can put them on the figure. Uh, so let's go ahead and take the figure out of the box. So he, here he is, here's Meisho uh, Manga Realization Muho Mono Wolverine. Uh, so right away, one of the things I really want to show off here today is just how articulated the Meisho figures are nowadays. A lot of you who have bought some of maybe the earlier figures or even SIC figures will, I think, be really pleased with the range of articulation. Everything from the foot, how it rotates almost a full 180 degrees to the sides, to his hands, which are all on ball joints. So pretty much any pose that you would want to have your Wolverine uh, take, you can actually replicate with this figure. So let's put him into a pose, for example, like so. And of course, the uh, figure is fully painted, uh, so all of the armor has a nice metallic paint as well as some weathering along the panel lines. And also the skin and the under armor, the cloth parts, uh, which are actually plastic, but uh, it's the made to resemble cloth, are all painted as well. So I think uh, fans will be really pleased with the overall aesthetics and the, just the finish on this item. The uh, color stood out to me really quite vibrantly. What, like, what different types of paints are you using here? So a lot of the parts, for example, the, these blue pieces here actually have two layers of paint. So there's a silver layer with a clear layer over top, which gives it a really nice luster, almost like real metal. Uh, so then also, let me just show off here how you can change the sword parts. So for example, if you want to, you can give him two different kinds of swords. Here on the left arm is his more traditional claws. And then on the right, you'll actually see he has a hook uh, on the edge of the, the blades, which is similar to some uh, weapons that you might see in, uh, for example, ninja weapons, um, some of the more uh, traditional uh, weapons from uh, feudal Japan. So actually, uh, you know, one of the great things that you can do with this series uh, is that they're all in the same scale. So they're roughly uh, 180 millimeters or about uh, the one ninth scale for figure collectors. So let me show them off here, for example, uh, with one of his fellow, sometimes X-Men partners, Deadpool. So this is the May Show Manga Realization Deadpool, which is on sale now. This came out uh, a little while ago. Um, and you can see that, you know, both of them pair really well together. In fact, you can go ahead and since they both have blade parts, you can put them in some nice poses. Uh, sometimes they are, you know, shown in the comics to happy kinds of at odds with each other. So you can have your uh, Deadpool and Wolverine kind of fighting each other like so. And of course, they really have no problem holding these poses. Uh, so that's really what they're great, what the Meisho series is great for. Yeah, like you said, the articulation has really improved over the uh, course of the line here. And I'm really loving the contrast between the two characters and the two colors. Yeah, and so really, you know, there's a lot of other figures in the line, including Spider-Man, Captain America, Iron Man, War Machine. So you can really just collect them all and uh, the whole, you can have your whole Marvel collection uh, you know, fighting each other and have this really nice uh, Japanese uh, traditional art uh, design vibe from, from this series, which is really, you know, one of the unique things that uh, we're doing with this line. So you said his name was a uh, Muho Mono Wolverine. I'm assuming that's Japanese. Yes. It means sort of uh, like a lawless uh, guy. Uh, it doesn't translate directly, but it, it is sort of uh, to show that he is kind of, uh, you know, does, lives by his own rules, for example. 
Okay, yeah, this is definitely cool, especially with Wolverine, he has this whole history with Japan, so I think that really works well together for this figure specifically. Um, can you tell us a little more about the history of the line, like what kind of started it all, what was the uh, concept behind this uh, sort of collaboration between Japan and Marvel? Well, originally the line actually started with Star Wars with the movie realization figures, uh, which, you know, were uh, kind of the brand originated based off of the uh, traditional sort of history that Star Wars has with Japanese art and Japanese cinema. Uh, but then it, we transitioned into Marvel and instead of, you know, going directly off of the current Marvel movies, uh, we decided to translate the character's comic uh, representations into figures. So that's where the manga realization line was born uh, with uh, Spider-Man and also Iron Man uh, about uh, four or five years ago. So for the design, you mentioned Takeo-san before, but um, is all of the designs done by him alone? Yes, and actually for those of you watching today, we want to show you one of the designs which should come on the screen right now. So. This is one of his sketches, which uh, he always does for each of the figures to begin. So first of all, we, uh, we, he sculpts all of the figures in his workshop, but then of course, uh, you know, before you can get into the actual sculpting, you have to start with the sketch. So this is what we're showing right now. And you can see how he sort of paints and draws the armor uh, very minutely, uh, really has these nice flourishes in mind from the very beginning. And then he actually starts the sculpting, which is done by hand. Uh, so all of these figures are actually done in a very traditional method, which is con you know contrasts from some of the more modern figures, which you can do you know by computer and software uh, like uh, for example CAD or other freeform design programs. These figures are really done you know sculpted by hand, and then uh, that's replicated in the uh, factories to uh, to make the figure. Yeah, I mean that's amazing. You can really see the detail from the original sketch that's come all the way through here to the figure now. Right, it's really stayed the same. And in fact, you can see kind of, if you look at his helmet, for instance, uh, you can see that even the figures, you know, when they're produced in the factory are also uh, hand painted to a large degree. So a lot of this uh, weathering and kind of the outlining of his armor panels, that's all done by hand. Well, thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you for having me. This was the Meisho Manga Realization Muhomono Wolverine figure, and that will be coming out on the 24th of August here in Japan, and then later on for all of you guys overseas, so please come and check that out. And, uh, you know, we've been hearing from you fans for a long time that you wanted Wolverine in this line, uh, so, you know, please continue to give us your comments. We really appreciate hearing from you. Uh, so definitely, you know, let us know what other things you'd be interested in seeing and, you know, what you think about the series. Thank you.